Hi guys, I uh, hope you're having a good weekend. Uh, here are the notes for the second day of Advanced Algebra 2B. Uh, so these are the notes that go with Friday's lesson. Um, we were solving linear equations in this lesson, and to start with, I'm looking at the equation 3a plus 4 equals 2a plus 15. Um, you guys did great with this. We just want to collect the variables on one side and the whole numbers on the other. So I'm going to take 2a away from both sides to start with. When I do that, 3a minus 2a is just a, or you could say 1a. And then I'm going to take 4 away from both sides, and I get, uh, let's see, the 2a's cancel here, the 4's cancel, and 15 minus 4 is 11. Now, in class, I asked you guys to check your work by plugging the answer back in. So if I say 3 times 11 plus 4 on this side, and on the other side I say 2 times 11 plus 15, they should come out to the same answer. 3 times 11 is 33, plus 4 is 37. 2 times 11 is 22, and 22 plus 15, sure enough, is 37. So this checks, which means A equals 11 really is our solution to this equation. Now, I noticed that people had a little bit of trouble when they saw the distributive property. Remember, if you have a number outside in front of the parentheses, you're going to multiply that in. So first I would say 12 times x and 12 times 3, so that gives me 12x. Let's see, 12 times 3 is 36. And then I'm going to do 2 times x and 2 times 5. Notice I'm not going to multiply 2 times this 3x because the 3x is outside the parentheses. I'm just going to do it to the things that are in the parentheses. So I get 2x and 2 times 5 is 10, and I have a minus 3x. Now, on this side, since I have a 2x and a minus 3x, I can combine like terms. So, 2x take away 3x is negative x. I'm just putting these two terms together. And on this side, I still have 12x plus 36. Um, now, I'm going to add x to both sides. That gives me 13x on this side, on the left. And I'm going to take away 36 from both sides. And that means on this side I get, let's see, 10 minus 36. Well, since negative 36 is bigger, I know my answer is going to be negative. 36 take away 10 is 26, so this will be negative 26. And then when I divide both sides by 13, 13 goes into 26 two times. And since there's that negative there, I'm going to bring the negative out in front. And there's my solution. Um, go ahead and copy down everything that you see and have these in the notes section of your binder for Monday so that I can check them off. Thanks and have a good rest of your weekend.